This course will review the regulatory documents in which the requirements for clinical evaluation of a medical device are outlined, what the prerequisites are before starting a clinical evaluation, and how these tie into the objectives of a clinical evaluation. Then we go over the steps of a clinical evaluation through review of existing data and what is important to review during each of these steps. Each of these steps requires specific qualifications and resources, both at the manufacturer and notified body side, which we will review at the end of this course. The European requirements for clinical evaluations are stated in the medical device directives and in the new medical device regulations, and are further outlined in detail in the guidance document MedDev 2.7.1. A complete outline on how to write a clinical evaluation report is provided in a separate WMDO course. In this course, we will review the important steps regulatory and notified body professionals need to consider and understand to ensure compliance with a clinical evaluation part of the essential requirements pertinent to the medical device in question. Let's review a few definitions before we go into the methodology of a clinical evaluation. Clinical data are any data or information related to the safety or performance generated through the use of the device. The EU MDR further states that such data are sourced from clinical investigations of the device in question, which is considered as the strongest and preferred data source, or from clinical investigations or any other studies reported in the scientific literature of a similar device provided that equivalence to such similar device can be demonstrated. We will come back to the notion of equivalence later in this course. Other sources stated in the EU MDR are other reports on clinical experience on the device in question or other devices. Such reports could be reports on case studies, compassionate use or any other data sets that are not necessarily generated through formally powered clinical investigations. Such reports can be on the use of the device in question or again on a similar device, provided equivalence can be claimed. For devices that are already on the market, ongoing clinical evaluation is required and thus sources of data can be post-market surveillance systems for which the preference of the regulators goes to data derived from post-market clinical follow-up studies. Let's first start by reviewing the concepts outlined in the MedDev 2.7.1. First, it is important to note a very important paragraph in the introduction of this document. Although the document is much more extensive now and emphasizes more in depth the process of clinical evaluation, its requirements must carefully be considered and not generalized for all types of medical devices. Definitely, there is a methodology to be applied in the approach of performing the clinical evaluation of each medical device. However, the depth of research of existing data and need for additional prospective data clearly is largely dependent also on the innovativeness of the device and the risks involved for patients and users. It is up to the manufacturer to make the necessary risks considerations and weigh these carefully in preparation for the conduct of a clinical evaluation. 